Hi there, my name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode. Today I wanted to talk about setting up multiple virtual hosts using uh, Apache on a Linode, and then using the free service from CertBot to actually get both virtual hosts set up using the same uh, certifications. So let's go ahead and do this, this should be fun. Now, if you don't have a Linode account yet, you can use the description below to get a $100 free credit to get you started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a very basic uh, WordPress install here because a lot of people use WordPress to do this. So let's go ahead and just choose WordPress on, from the list. This part isn't super important. I'm just gonna get uh, WordPress set up and provisioned here. While we wait for uh, the, the uh, Linode to boot up and provision itself. Now this is gonna be a little bit different uh, depending on if you are using uh, you know, Linode to do your DNS management or if you're doing DNS management from your registrar. Um, but it should be pretty similar. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually select the uh, a copy of the IP address of your Linode to your uh, to your clipboard and then go over to the domain section. And if you're using Linode's DNS, then you can use domains. And otherwise, you'll need to use your registrar's DNS servers. Uh, but I'm going to select Linodians.net here. And you can see that we have a few configurations. Uh, I'm going to click on the little dots here. And I'm going to change the IP address for Linodians.net to be the Linode IP address that we just set up. I'm going to delete these. We don't need those. Uh, I'm going to add a new A record, though. I'm going to create a subdomain. Let's say... Um, um, example, and then we're going to put in uh, the, the same IP address. So we're going to have both linodians.net and examples.linodians.net running off the same server. So I'm going to hit save. Now, if you bought your domain somewhere else and you're not using the uh, Linode name servers, then you'll want to go to your registrar's website and uh, modify your A records to be approximately the same, however you want to have it configured. Um, now, this will take a little while for this to replicate across the DNS system, but uh, Linode's name servers are usually really fast and on top of it. Um, so let's go back to our Linode's, and it looks like uh, this one is running. So what we should do now is just go over here and type in linodians.net. And here we go, we have a WordPress site, but you can see uh, Chrome is saying not secure. Uh, and that's something we're going to fix in a moment. What happens if we type in uh, example.linodians.net? And there we go, we have example.linodians.net. And you can see that it's actually running, uh, it's actually returning the same uh, WordPress site as linodians.net, they're the exact same. Um, now we're gonna do something about that in a second. So what we wanna do now is open up our terminal and uh, SSH into our machine. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's my terminal, I'm using ZSH. Uh, and so we're gonna say SSH root at IP address. We can say yes here. The password is going to be what you typed in for the root password at the very bottom of your setup process. And there we go. So what I wanna do now, I'm gonna actually make this a lot bigger so we can read it easier. I'm gonna CD into var www data uh, and we're gonna go into HTML and uh, there's nothing in here. So I'm just gonna create an index. Um, so I'm gonna say nano index.html and we're gonna just create a quick HTML document and this is gonna be just real rough. Let's do h1, this is just an example. <laughs> And now you don't have to do this. This is just me uh, having something different to look at other than the WordPress page. And there we go. We have a very simple website. So we can do P. This is an example website. It's different from the WordPress site. Okay, that's all well and good, right? We have created uh, a separate index.html page. Um, however, <laughs> uh, we gotta do a couple things. So let's CD into uh, etc. Apache 2, sites available, and let's list what's in here. So we have uh, 000 default.conf, uh, and we have wordpress.conf. So let's, uh, let's edit uh, 000 default nano zero 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 default and you can see here that we have a lot of uh, extra stuff you can see that our document root here is going to be set uh, to 
the f- directory that we just were in. So var www html. And index.html is going to be the default. So let's go up, come up here and you can see we have server name, okay? So we're gonna uncomment server name and we're actually gonna remove www and we're gonna do example.linodians.net. Okay, we're gonna hit uh, save on that and we're gonna leave. So c- control S to save and then control X to leave or quit the program. So then let's uh, A2ENSITE for uh, enable site, and then we're going to do 000-default.conf. And that's going to enable the website, and then we need to systemctl reload Apache 2. Now the site has been reloaded, and now if we go back into our page, you can see lunodians.net. Oh, hey, we have... Uh, oh. That's fun. Good gravy. So, <laughs> uh, I didn't realize that it wasn't set up in here. So let's nano WordPress. And we need to actually provide it with a server name as well. So this is, is gonna be, um, this is gonna be linodians.net. Boom. So we have linodians.net. And if we do example.linodians.net, we have, this is just an example, right? Refresh that, go back, refresh this. We have the two sites set up. Pretty straightforward so far. Uh, Apache is pretty easy to configure most of the time. But you can see both of these sites, both uh, linodians.net and example.linodians.net, both of them have a not secure icon next to them. Uh, enabling HTTPS is pretty straightforward uh, through uh, Ubuntu or Debian. All you need to do is type in apt install uh, certbot and then Python 3 certbot Apache. And it's going to install a couple of packages. Now, obviously, if you're running, if you're not running as root, then you'll need to do sudo apt install. Um, but there we go, we're, we're ready to go. And now all we have to do is do uh, certbot dash dash Apache. And we enter our email address. So we could say, uh, and uh, we can say, yes, we agree to this. Uh, would you be willing to share your information? No, thanks. This is just a demo. And this is the critical part. So we have two virtual hosts running on the same machine. And you can see that CertBot has noticed that. So we have uh, one and we have two, linodians.net and example.linodians.net. We could leave the entry field blank here and hit enter. Um, or we could do it manually and specify one comma two. Um, and this is really useful if you have like a lot of virtual hosts running on one machine and you want to only uh, apply your certbot certification to one or the other of these. Um, so we're going to say one comma two because I like a world that is less ambiguous. And we hit enter. And this might fail right now because we haven't given the uh, domain name system to uh, enough time to actually uh, replicate across the web. Um, we'll see uh, if this works. But it looks like it worked. Uh, we've created SSL certificates for both of them. And now another very critical point, point here. Do we want to require the use of HTTPS uh, for all connections. Um, I personally think that it's a good idea. It doesn't like add extra burden or anything to the end user. So it's a good thing to do. So I'm going to hit number two here for redirects. Uh, and what this is going to do is it's just going to add a permanent redirect to the, uh, the non-secure uh, version of the virtual host. And uh, we're going to hit enter. And there we go. We've set up uh, CertBot and HTTPS on multiple virtual hosts. Um, and you can see that if we ls now, we're going to actually have more than we had before. So we have our default here, uh, which handles example.linodians.net, but then we also have uh, dash le dash SSL. And what this one is, is the, the HTTPS version of our site. Uh, and similarly, we have uh, wordpress.conf and we have wordpress-le-ssl.conf and this is the insecure version and this is the secure version. Um, and if we then take a look at, uh, if we just say nano 00 
uh, .conf, you're going to see that we have at the bottom here, we have rewrite engine on, uh, rewrite condition. So it's checking if it's an insecure version and uh, it rewrites it to, uh, redirects it to uh, HTTPS. Um, and if we go into the, uh, the SSL version, you can see that we have the SSL certificates. So we just have SSL certificate file, certificate key, and include it in the header file. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, Apache and CertBot makes it really simple, uh, and it's almost just as easy with uh, Nginx if you're gonna use something like that instead. Um, that's gonna do it for now though. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about this, leave it in the comments because uh, we watch uh, we watch for the comments. We, we like to respond and answer questions when we can. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button because it really helps this channel out. It lets us know that we're making the right kind of content that you guys wanna see. Uh, but, but that's gonna do it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.